Good morning and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm in the Shropshire town of Bridgenorth and I'm going to be meeting up with some fellow YouTubers, fellow content creators, some of whom I've met before. This is the third of our social events. First was in Shrewsbury a year ago and the second in Coventry back in June. We're now towards the middle of October and a lovely fresh morning here in Bridge North. It really is absolutely beautiful here. And this is St Leonard's Church. Absolutely beautiful. And the former Granary School on the left hand side dates from around 1629. It's a beautiful building. What a delightful little area around the church. The church has its origins back in the 11th century, beginning of the 12th century. But it was during the English Civil War in 1646 that the uh, church was used to store ammunition and gunpowder. And a careless shot from a cannon exploded the whole arsenal inside and the church, and it was destroyed. Started rebuilding it back in 1662, but it wasn't until the Victorian era, 1870, 1873, that the uh, beautiful Gothic building, English Gothic style building we see today, uh, she took shape. But it's absolutely beautiful on the outside. It's absolutely huge inside apparently as well. Hopefully you might get a chance to, uh, to come back here uh, a little later and take a look around if it's open. But it really is absolutely beautiful here. Lovely old cottages around the side. You can just see what, it might, what life might have been like here several hundred years ago. But on the left hand side you can see Richard Baxter's former house. Now he was a one of the founding fathers of nonconformity and an influential re religious writer. And he started his career as a curate here at St. Leonard's. They preserved his house. So the architecture around here really is absolutely beautiful. And it's had such a lovely fresh, fresh morning. a little information plaque here uh, about St Leonard's and the grammar school. The building across the way, say, from 1629, but uh, the, uh, the school was founded in 1503. One of its uh, famous pupils was Thomas Percy, who became chaplain to King George III. He all started off here at the grammar school in Bridge North. Really it's beautiful, a little, little picture on the plaque shows the grammar school pupils going to church or off to lessons. <laughs> Perhaps they're skiving lessons. <laughs> but let's head down this little street here and down towards uh, the North Gate, one of the uh, remaining entrance gates here in Bridge North and meet up with the others see who's, uh, who's going to be joining me on my walk around Bridge North today. We're looking forward to this actually because these, these creator meetups are such fun. I've done quite a few now, I've met quite a few other creators as well and it's nice to chat, uh, exchange ideas and uh, learn from each other. So uh, let's go and meet them. Well, 
I've met up with the others. And they're all behind me filming, filming the town hall. Just... Yeah, what a beautiful building this is. It's the town hall and it dates from 1652. Started off life as an old timber framed tithe barn. It got raised up on arches and it's been here ever since. Donated by a lady called Lady Bertie, the wife of Sir Roger Bertie, who was the Lord of Much Wenlock. It's absolutely beautiful looking at it. The, uh, there's a little sign underneath the, uh, the clock, Thomas Byrne and uh, Roger Taylor, AD 6032. 1632, absolutely fantastic. And the stained glass windows underneath. They were installed in 1887. It's marked the Golden Jubilee of uh, Queen Victoria. And they've depicted all the kings and queens who are granted charters to Bridge North since, uh, well, between 1157 and 1830. That's, of course, Henry I, Henry II, uh, King John, Edward I, Edward II, and Henry IV. It is an absolutely beautiful building. I even found an old photograph which shows what it was like back in Victorian times. Absolutely beautiful. What a delightful little old market town Bridge North is. I'll just catch up with the others and, uh, and see what they're doing. Bubbling around, aren't we, really, as well? So when you're moving quickly across the road, that tends to overstimulate them a bit as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> Hello, my name's Riley. <laughs> It's quite nice walking down this little little back street here. It's called the Cartway. Lots of rather interesting architecture and an old pub dating back to uh, 1790. It really is absolutely wonderful down here. Do not my architecture and the old pubs. <laughs> but I'm joined by Howard from the channel Travel Happy with Howard. And it's lovely to see you again, Howard. Hey, honey, it's just, it's just seeing you today. Yeah. It's a beautiful day in October. It is, it's lovely, oh, isn't it? Lovely, yeah, yeah, absolutely beautiful today. Yes, today. It's a good day. I haven't seen you since uh, we met up in uh, Coventry. Yeah, Coventry, yes. A few, uh, few months ago. Yes. So where have you been since then? I've travelled around Greece and North Macedonia. Greece and North Macedonia. Yeah, that's uh, really interesting. Yes, I've seen the video, so check out Howard's channel, Travel Happy with Howard. I'll leave the details in the description. And of course at the bottom of the screen now for you to, uh, to take a look at. But it really is uh, it's wonderful. And the Bassa Villa pub is here as well. It dates from 1591. And it's said to be haunted as well. Haunted by a lady whose children drowned in the cellar. According to the story. And the lovely Tudor building behind from 1580. That really is a, a beautiful building. And another 16th century cottage as well. Really are some beautiful properties down here in the, uh, the low town area of Bridge North down towards the, uh, the River Stour. So I'm just following the others and uh, seeing where we're going to end up next. <laughs> This is rather nice down here. Another cloud in the sky as well. Absolutely beautiful. Certainly lucky for the weather. Got a bit of rain in the last few days. And the temperature's half of what it was this time last weekend. So, uh, be grateful and thankful for some uh, for warm weather. Even though it is a little fresh today. That's 11 degrees. So, uh, I just follow the others and just go with the flow. Is 
you friendly? Stroke him if you want to go back. Oh. It's a ferret? Yes. I've never seen anybody out <laughs> walking uh, walking a ferret. Oh, I remember, <laughs> remember Richard Whiteley on television getting nipped by a... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless. Oh, cute little face. This is floppy, that's Famous. flippy. Oh, floppy and flippy. The same age. Same as well. Male or female. Just in case. Just in case. I used to play the piano. <laughs> and I met a ferret. <laughs> Bit in a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Oh, what fun seeing those two people with ferrets! I've seen uh, so many people out walking dogs and things over the years and being friendly, but never with ferrets! <laughs> That's rather fun! I'm so glad I bumped into that lovely couple! But what caught my eye was the, uh, the plaque on the wall here by this little clock tower uh, to the memory of two great engineers, Richard Trevethick, born in 1771, the inventor of the high-pressure steam engine, and John Erpeth Rastrick, great railway engineer. And, uh, yeah, absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And uh, near the spot was Hazeldean's foundry, Rastrick built in 1808. They built the world's first passenger locomotive. Absolutely brilliant. Anyone who's a fan of railways, like I am, it's made my day. Seeing that plaque, absolutely superb. This is why I love traveling to different towns and cities around the world. You find a little snippet of history, just like that, and it's absolutely wonderful. But uh, let's go and catch up with the others now. They're on the other side of the bridge. Let's go and catch up with them. Caught up with the others down here on the river bank by the River Severn. Yes, it is the River Severn. I thought it was a Stour, but it's actually the Severn. Got confused with the Stour Bridge just down the road. And there's a little plaque here as well. And oh, what a beautiful view of the bridge. It really is lovely here. And Bridge North is twinned with Thiers in France, has been since 1978 and uh, Schrobenhausen in Bavaria since 1992 and Schrobenhausen is uh, near Ingolstadt in Bavaria between well just south of, uh, of Nuremberg absolutely, uh, absolutely beautiful city and so is Nuremberg I've visited there on many occasions and have videos from both locations on my channel and I'm being filmed by another YouTuber. Howard is secretly filming me, I think. Here we go. I'm going to film Howard. Here we go. <laughs> Who doesn't like to be on camera, he tells me. What a shame. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a little model of a, of a, of a train. Oh, that's quite clever, actually. I quite yeah. like that. Yeah, that's rather nice, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes. Yeah. Artist Paul Hopkins, Train of Thought. Yeah, we just come across uh, Trevethick and uh, father of steam engines. That's quite a quite a clever design. I do like that. Yeah, you can see the, uh, the Ridley sign, the Ridley sign on the side of the building, just past at the bottom of the uh, little street that we've just walked down. Yeah, that's nice. I like things like that. <laughs> Let's go and catch up with with everybody else and just see what they are doing. We walked a little further up to the funicular railway. A 
and it's closed. <laughs> Story of my life, I did things that are closed. But yeah, it's closed. Apparently there was a problem with one of the walls. It collapsed onto the track and it's, uh, and it's closed. Just, I wanted to ride the funicular. That's such a shame. But never mind, never mind. It uh, actually opened on the 7th of July, 1892. And it's not only Britain's shortest, it's also Britain's steepest as well. <coughs> So uh, it's a great shame of that. I couldn't climb, couldn't uh, ride the funicular. But I met up with everybody else again. They're all busy filming away. <laughs> way down to the castle, founded in 1101. And there's not much that remains of it. It's destroyed in 1646 after a three week siege by Oliver Cromwell's parliamentarian forces. And then he gave the orders for the castle to be destroyed. But what's left is this uh, large rock part of the, uh, the tower. And it leans 15 degrees. It's quite prominent, you can just see behind me. Looking up at it, you can see the uh, extent of the lean. This must have been quite an impressive castle in its time. Just a shame that so many castles were destroyed after the English Civil War. Parliamentary forces really wanted to ensure that Major castles couldn't be used again. And uh, they gave the orders for so many to be destroyed. There's also parts of the old uh, wall here as well. Not sure if that was a part of uh, the town wall or a part of the castle wall. Probably part of the castle wall. But uh, the town did have walls and five entrance gates. Walls built between 1216 and 1223. And later in the 13th to the 15th century. They were built in stone. But in 1322 the, uh, the town was attacked by Roger Mortimer, the first Earl of March during the Dispensers War. And uh, that was the, uh, the Baronial War against Edward II. I've got the sun in my eyes, I can't quite see where I'm going. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, oh, there's the war memorial there. I'm going to have a look at the war memorial, because that's, uh, that's quite interesting. Designed by Adrian Jones. And uh, he, he designed the, uh, the quadriga on top of the uh, Wellington Arch in central London. It's quite an interesting uh, war memorial. Unveiled on the, uh, the 9th of March, 1920 and uh, depicts a Shropshire Light Infantryman. As the war memorials go, that one's really rather striking, really rather nice. And I've got little bands down here as well. It's really delightful up here in the park. So many nice parks that I come across on my travels. And this one really is nice as well. Really nice little feature. And on a day like today, it really is quite delightful to, uh, to walk around here. But I seem to be here on my own. I've lost everybody else. <laughs> I don't know where they are, but never mind. I'll go and find them, they can't have gone far. <laughs>
Oh, I finally caught up with everybody else. They're up by the castle ruins again. That's quite an impressive ruin, especially from this angle. And somewhere here, there we go. Where are you? It's Paul from the channel Millionaire Paul. Oh, well, well you're there. <laughs> <laughs> we'll keep that in. <laughs> And this is the first time we've actually met. We've watching our channels, see each other's channels for a while. So, uh, hello everybody. I'm Paul from Millionaire Paul, and I want to wish Alice Goss all the best with her channel. Oh, that's nice. So tell everybody about your channel briefly. Oh, I'm Millionaire Paul. I track um, the channel growth. Uh, I've been doing it for about a year and a half. Uh, I have sponsors on my channel. I'm actually earning some money but I've spent so much money that I'm working at a loss. You can see yeah. how it's going. Yeah, Just click, that's follow follows my pattern Apple. as well. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I think it's a common story. It is uh, I'm recording it for everybody to see. There we go. So I'll put a link to, uh, to Paul's channel in the description below and it'll also be on the screen now for you to watch as well. So uh, great to meet you, Paul. And uh, Thank you. We've had an absolutely brilliant day. It has been brilliant so far, hasn't it? It's absolutely uh, wonderful, especially the weather as well. I've got nothing else to say. Yeah, <laughs> last few days it's rain, so uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, hang on. This is this is only the second time I've ever met anybody else off YouTube. We met at Mary Banks Travels. That's David and Michelle uh, earlier on this year, and today we've met uh, Mike and Teresa Explores. Um, and travel, travel happy with happy. Travel happy travel with, with Howard. Howard yes. Uh, and Alice Goss, of course, and myself, Millionaire Paul, and we've had an absolutely brilliant day in Bridge North. Um, didn't realise there was so much here. Brilliant place. And uh, right, we had. <laughs> <laughs> tea, crumpets, uh, we had, uh, yep. what else have we had, yeah, and uh, we've even got a little dog called Riley who's around somewhere. Yeah, Riley's around somewhere as well, so uh, yeah, he's, he's featured in the video, so you'll see him. <laughs> it's amazing what you do with editing, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing how normal we look by the time yeah. you finish editing. And also joined by Mike from uh, Mike and Teresa Explore. <laughs> Hello. Hello. It's good to see you again. Actually, we haven't it's met since, since Shrewsbury. Yeah, no, since Shrewsbury. Shrewsbury last year. Oh, it was this time last year. It wasn't was this it? time last year. Yeah, it was we fantastic. went up and had a had a great wander around Shrewsbury with uh, with Watto and uh, Paul from West Country Wanderings. That's right. Yeah, well. We had a so, great yeah. time. We're having a great time here. Having today a great as time well. today. It's yeah, absolutely yeah, I've brilliant. I've never been to Bridge North, and no, uh, nor yeah. have I. And I'm quite really impressed by the the history of the town as well. Yeah, it's a lot of history. Brilliant. It's very quaint as well. It is, isn't it? A lot of, a lot of interesting back streets. Yeah, lovely back streets. I love going through the back streets and I seeing do. all the, the, the yeah, I cafes do, so. and little pubs and things yeah. like that. No, it's the fabulous. old architecture. Very yeah. lovely, isn't it? And who who ordered this weather? I mean, I don't know. I've got a. Well, I did did pray. Um, <laughs> you did a lot of praying. <laughs> did a lot of praying for this because it rained last night. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's keep walking and see uh, what else we can find here. In uh, where are we? Bridge North. <laughs> I forgot as well. I forgot as well. I've been to so many places. I've been to so many places. I do forget sometimes. I forget whether I'm in a town or a city, and I forget the names of rivers. And um, yes, it's just one of those things. But never mind. It's uh, onwards and upwards. onwards and upwards. Yeah, let's go and see what else we can find here in Bridge North. <laughs> now to uh, St Mary Magdalene's Church, originally built here in 1238 as a private chapel for the castle. But it became a parish church back in the 15th century. And the current church was designed by Thomas Telford from 1792 to 1795. And quite interesting, it's a, a north-south um, alignment as well. Most churches are east-west, but this one is north-south. It looks as though it's open as well. Now let's uh, let's go inside and take a look.
beautiful building that was inside. Absolutely fantastic architecture. Lovely green walls in there and the columns. Absolutely beautiful. I do love looking inside churches. They're just so interesting. And to visit a church, touch, um, visit a church, get my words out today, visit a church designed by Thomas Telford. Absolutely beautiful, absolutely wonderful. And I've just spotted a blue plaque as well. This one's to Reverend Squadron Leader Herbert Cecil Pugh, born 1898, killed in action on the 5th of July, 1941. Chaplain at RAF Bridge North, and the only member of the clergy awarded the George Cross. Absolutely fantastic. I do love seeing blue plaques, especially to local people who have done well in life. Sadly, he was killed. That's a great shame. He lived there from 1940 to 1941. You do find so many interesting snippets of history walking around towns. So let's cross the road and to the, uh, the governor's house, former residence of the Castle Governor, originally stood within the Outer Bailey of Bridge North Castle. Wow, and King Charles I came here in 1642 and 1645 when it was a royalist garrison. Absolutely amazing, a second blue plaque. That's just so interesting. English towns, they do throw up so many surprises. And I've fallen behind everybody else again. That's all I've been doing all day is walking behind everybody else. <laughs> and I've caught up with Howard. Hello, Howard. Hi. You all right? Yes, enjoy the day, really nice. Lovely weather as well. It is, it's and absolutely. It's a really nice place to visit. It is, it's brilliant, isn't yes, it? Yeah, so much here, more than, more than I thought there was. Actually, so, I, I agree, yeah. There's, there is yeah. more here than I thought there was. Great, great day out. Great day out, yeah. It's, we'll have to do some more of these. Yes. <sighs> we definitely have to do some more of these because we just see so much. We have so much fun as well, I'm all chatting to each other. Over on your left -hand side. There is, isn't there? Mm. What are the well, dates on those? Something new. There's a few more plaques down here as well. Mm -hmm. it's got in the top, so it's a Blue plaque on this on this uh, this building as well. Yeah. And then the other thing, it's bigger. Than Thomas it's bigger. Telford, yes, engineer and architect, live here in 1792. Absolutely brilliant. Church made by Thomas Telford, and now we find his house. Just doesn't get any better. The history here is absolutely incredible, it really is. And I've met up with everybody else as well, which is, uh, which is nice. <laughs> They're all behind me. <laughs> I've made it back to St. Leonard's Church where I started my journey this morning before I met all my friends. And I've had a fantastic time walking around Bridge North, looking at the sights and chatting too. Travel happy with Howard. Hi. Say goodbye, Howard. Bye bye, everyone. <laughs> and I also met Paul as well from the channel Millionaire Paul. Say goodbye, Paul. Goodbye, Paul. <laughs> There's always one. And I've met, uh, who are you, Mike and Teresa from Mike and Teresa Explore with their little doggy Riley as well. And I've loved meeting Riley and meeting Teresa as well. Goodbye. Bye. Take care. <laughs> so don't forget to subscribe to their channels. The links will be in the description below. And uh, we'll see them all again in another video, hopefully next year. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and follow my journey because there's plenty more to come. Well, there's plenty more to come. <laughs> so we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.